the world made strange and wonderful for a couple of weeks. Head through the Aspens to the corner of nature and nerdiness. That's where Ian Brackheimer. I'm really jazzed about plants. Is most stoked. Aspens support an amazing ecosystem. Ian's loved plants since he was a kid, among other things. I was staying up until 10 to watch Star Trek The Next Generation every single time it was on. An interest in science and nature grew into a career. He's a research scientist at Rocky Mountain Biological Lab in Gothic. So we name all of our drones, and this one is Bruce. Bruce helps Ian see the celebrity tree of the moment. Beautiful. The Aspen in a new light. The overhead view from uh, 380 feet is uh, it's beautiful. The Aspen and the driest environments have already dropped all their leaves. Ian already knows a ton about the trees. And they're like an iceberg. The tree is the dense network of roots underground that link this, this tree to that tree to that tree to that tree into a single organism. If you look up at an aspen canopy, it's usually pretty open and sparse. They're not directly competing with, uh, with their neighbors because uh, most of their neighbors are genetically identical extensions of themselves. They're like, oh no, please, have, have this, this wonderful piece of sunlight. Midwesterners of the plant world. You know, they're gonna bake you a casserole and, uh, and show, up, uh, show up when you're sick. And his view from the sky teaches him more every flight. It's taking a photo about every second. 10,000 images travel to Ian's computer. Yes, it's a lot. It's enough to fill up your hard drive. It gives us uh, just this really huge amount of images that the computer can stitch together into a single, uh, a single map, that we're able to get really, really detailed information about the plants. He sees a lot. How do aspen, how do other, these other plants respond to stress? Like how this summer's drought made leaves yellow up and fall down earlier. So we, we think that there are probably about 25% fewer aspen on the town site than there were 10 years ago. From above, he's studying how aspens use precious water. And so if we want to understand how much water is going to be flowing down the Colorado in the future, we really need to understand the future of how forests use water uh, in the West. There are a lot of important things that we don't know about how climate affects uh, the ecosystem and how climate change is going to alter the things we care about. So Ian will keep answering questions about Colorado's strange golden child. Yeah, nature nerdery and computer nerdery have like a little bit of overlap. When it comes to his life's work, Ian's proud to be a nerd, naturally. It's okay to be a nerd when you're talking Aspens, right? It's always okay so to be a nerd. Beautiful. I see these stories, I'm like, I've got to get to the mountains before it's over. <laughs> I know. You want to just sit down with him and talk all Aspens. Mm -hmm.